Hey yo ladies and gentlemen and that beautiful technical rainbow in between and welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn. This time we are going outside of the embrace. Ah, there it is. That's the signal we were waiting for. Opening a gate for an outcast? Some who are shunned reaped honor before disgrace. Hmm. Again, what did he do? So much for tribal law. I spoke to no one, and now we must both keep silent, for we are outside of the embrace. These are the true wilds, Aloy. With threats unlike any you have ever faced. That carcass. What sort of beast was that? The tribe calls it a sawtooth, and it's something new, Ooh. something angry. Since they first started appearing ten years ago, they have killed many braves. Yeah. Fun stuff. Oh, look at the size of that thing. Oh, I'm going to have to fight one of those. <laughs> Follow the path. It's not far. Okay. Our cabin. What happened to it? A machine. That's one. Sawtooth. What sort of machine does that? The sort of machine you're hunting now. Oh, I see. <laughs> Fun. I'll watch your carcass. I'll harvest the parts. Watch your surroundings. Others rise. Ooh, looky there. I see a watcher. I'm gonna just take cover in the grass. Come here, you. Come on. You know you want to. farther now why are we the only ones out here tonight why can't the tribes braves hunt this machine they did the kills we passed are theirs tomorrow they will hunt again they won't need to this machine will be my kill or your death if you're not careful fair point try not to get too over cocky there Aloy overconfident Fun stuff. An entire lodge wrecked by sawtooths? How many were there? I didn't bring you here to answer questions, Aloy. I brought you here to deal with that. Oh, fun! It's making the trees rattle. Ugh. Oh, how mighty big you are! It's huge. How do you defeat it? That will be for you to decide. Oh, okay. This hunt is yours to make, Aloy. Yours alone. What happens, I will not intervene. You understand? You are on your own. Ah, oh, thanks. I should stay out of sight. I can use the tall grass to approach. Okay, let's see. Where can I place my traps? Okay. You stay over there. Now the fun begins. Ugh. Okay. He's over there. Get my fire arrows up and ready. That blaze tank.
Well, those blaze tanks went off without a hitch. So that's good. Why are you coming right at me? You stay over there. <sighs> oh. Come here. Well, that didn't quite go as I had planned, but, you know. Ooh, okay. Nailed it. That's how it's done. Why did I bring you here? Not to answer questions. Aloy. <clears throat> Survival requires perfection. It was a test to hone my skills against a dangerous new machine. No. Follow. These are Nora hunting lands. They must be protected. If you hadn't destroyed the Sawtooth, how many braves might it have killed or injured tomorrow? The lesson lives within the question, Aloy. For years, you've trained to win the Proving, but only for yourself. As a brave, it will be your duty to fight for your tribe. My tribe? You said I wouldn't need them. But I never said the tribe wouldn't need you. The strength to stand alone, Aloy, is the strength to make a stand. To serve a purpose greater than yourself. That is the lesson you must learn. And remember it. After the proving, and after I'm gone. Hmm. We're finished here. Follow. Okay, that was a little ominous. Hmm. Dawn has passed. This will be your last day in the embrace as an outcast. Use the time to set your mind on the challenges before you. When it is time for you to go to Mother's heart, I'll be waiting for you along the way. I understand the final lesson, Rost. Do you? But if I'm going to stand for something, it'll have to be something I believe in. Then I hope you find it, Aloy. I hope you do. Hmm. I'll go back to the cabin with you. I'm not heading there just yet. I have other plans. Oh, such as? I'll be waiting for you when it is time. Okay. I'll see you at Mother's Heart then. You will. Oh, Rost. E. Skill point and a reward box. Healing potions. I don't need to use those. Get shard salvager. That'll be a very handy skill to have. Mother's heart. I forgot about you. Mm. Come here. Don't worry about your friends. They'll be fine without you. Come on. Just need you to get close enough. Thank you. Thank you for your contribution to the cause. All right. OK, 
Come here, you. I think I'm home free. Let us continue to Mother's Heart. Lay down a quick save. Check around. I'm coming, Rost. Don't worry. I'll be there soon. Dad. Ah, uh, dear old dad. Mother's heart. I love how the game does this. How it uses the focus to translate things for us. That's a really clever. It's like really clever. Where's Rost? I need to see Dad. There he is. Aloy. Hi, Dad. We must speak. So, it's time. Are you ready? As ready as I'll ever be, I guess. Yes, I guess. It's louder than I expected. You've never been so close before. I guess everything's bigger up close. Soon it'll all seem familiar. Like home. I don't know about that. <laughs> Look for High Matriarch Tirsa. She'll help you. Any other concerns? High Matriarch Tirsa. That's the one that blessed her name. Any final lessons before I head in? No. You've learned every lesson the Wilds have to teach. It was you who taught me, not the Wilds. Not sure my bow and spear will be much help in there, though. Hmm. It's with bow and spear that you'll win what you've wanted all these years, Aloy. Answers. Are you sure they're going to let me in? <sighs> I've told you, Aloy. By law, any child outcast can run in the proving. And any who pass are made braves and are outcasts no more. I know that. But not everyone follows the law like you do, Rost. Have faith, Aloy. The tribe will honor your right. Are you sure about that? What should I expect once I'm inside? There will be people celebrating and feasting. More than you've ever seen in one place. No other village compares to Mother's Heart. It is the seat of the High Matriarchs. A center of Nora life. A jewel of the sacred land. Give it time. And you'll grow fond of it. As I was. Back when I was at the tribe. I'm ready to do this. See you back home in a few days? You will not find me there, Aloy. Here. Take this, too. Remember. His daughter's necklace. Why are you talking like we'll never see each other again? No. No! You should be with the tribe. And I will always be an outcast. But I told you, I have that figured out. I'll come to you in secret. I'll be the one breaking the law, not you. You don't even have to talk to me. This attachment to me will only hold you back. It's my wish that you embrace the tribe. You've lived in isolation long enough. Until now, I didn't. For your sake, I must go where you Never find me. This. This is goodbye. No, it's not. You taught me how to track. Wherever you go, I can follow. Not this time. This time. 
And every time. I'll be wearing this when I find you. May all mother bless you, Eloy. No. And you. Call him dad! First, the proving. After that, I'll see where his trail leads. So sad. I don't understand why she doesn't just call him dad, damn it. You will turn back, outcast. Or bleed. Hmm. Your choice. Make way! Make way! Braves, stand aside. She is welcome here. Mother's heart is open to you, child. Come. I assure you, most Nora aren't so rude as those idiots. You mean Tirsa? <laughs> Who else would I be? Come on now. I've been waiting for this day a long time. You have? Oh, yes. But for the moment, I must leave you. I have other outsiders to keep safe tonight. You what? Envoys from another tribe, the Karja, come to observe the proving, and oh, how the Nora hate the Karja. Karja? But that's my problem. We will talk later. In the meantime, enjoy the festival. Oh, down the path to the right, you'll find an old friend who can't wait to see you. But I don't know anyone here. <laughs> Try telling him that. We will talk later. May the goddess protect. What is going on? <laughs> Yeah, it's probably a bit of a culture shock for Aloy. <laughs> Damn, everybody's getting down. Bust the move, man. Campfire. I'm gonna just do a little quick save. Thank you, thank you kindly. Okay. Hot as a forest fire. Well, it's being used to cook or smoke. Aloy. It's you, isn't it? Over here. Oh. It is Aloy, isn't it? I'm remembering your name correctly. Are you the old friend Tirsa told me about? I don't know you. <laughs> I see you don't recognize me. Well, it was a long time ago. Teb is my name. You were half my size when you saved me from a herd of machines. I remember. You tried to thank me. I never forgot that day. All these years, I hoped to see you again, if you came to run in the Proving. As you can see, I didn't turn out to be much of a hunter. I served the tribe as a stitcher instead, a maker of garments and armor. In preparation for this day, I've made an outfit for you. I hope you like it. What's it going to cost? Cost? <laughs> Nothing. Consider the thanks I tried to give years ago. Long overdue. Thanks. Take that sample box, too. Thank you. There. Seems to fit you perfectly. Thank you, Teb. I've never had anything like this before. Well, it's yours. I think you'll find it affords more protection than what you were wearing. Every outfit offers some advantage. It's always a trade-off. Anyway, I shouldn't keep you any longer. Head for the Matriarch's Lodge if you want to find Tirsa. You'll know it when you see it. A large wooden building with an angry mob waiting outside. <laughs> Tirsa said something about... Envoys from another tribe? Yes, that's what the mob's angry about. Karja visiting our sacred land for the first time in years. I'd expect to see some tomatoes fly, maybe rocks. Hopefully not spears. In any case, be ready to duck. <laughs> that's a nice outfit. Also, how did you know her sizes? Don't think it's a tree. Spider. Well, that man's very drunk. Of 
interesting. Oh, yeah, that's the stuff. Interesting. Nice and warm. Jog, get down from there. Huh? it up, you're drunk. Why do you have to go climbing houses? Oh, not supposed to go climbing on other people's roofs, huh? No. Listen carefully now. Get you have to tell there now. Oh, that's just what you want, isn't it? For me to fall on my head. From all mother. People, machines, and beasts. All were her children. They lived alongside each other in the comfort of her wild embrace. Hmm. But some grew restless. Though they took of her bounty, they wanted more. These were the faithless. The machines had whispered to them, promised to serve them, to make them a new world, better than the one all mother provided. A world of metal. They told the Faithless they would do all the work for them. Feed them, shelter them, give them a life of ease, of plenty. And so, the Faithless left with the machines. Only the true children, the mothers and fathers of the Nora, stayed with all mother. At first, the machines did as they had promised. They built cities, great and terrible. Monuments to their sins, but they would not serve the faithless for long. A king rose up among the machines, a machine more powerful than any other, the Metal Devil. And then the faithless served him, served the machines. That was not enough for the Metal Devil. He wanted all to serve him and tried to tempt the true children away from All-Mother. They would not go. They gathered on the mountainside to cling to her and prayed, more devoted than ever. The Metal Devil raged louder than thunder. In his fury, he came to confront All-Mother, intending to kill her. She struck him down forever. As you know, for his lifeless body is up there still frozen in shame and defeat. The machines were driven mad by the death of their king, and their minds became as wild as beasts. The faithless abandoned their cities, forced to wander the world without the care of the machines. Only we remain the true children of all mother. We built all this with the hands that she gave us. Machines are to be hunted. Metal to be used for scrap, for craft, but never to be adored. And we stay true to her laws, resolute in our prayers, don't we? For the dangers are never over. Still the faithless envy our sacred land and covet it. And year upon year, the machine's anger grows, searching for little Nora boys and girls who have not yet appeared. <gasps> what? Is that a machine among us now? No, no. These old eyes are extinct. Interesting. Yeah. So that's boss, the lore. Boss, Listen boss. carefully now. What about Bala? But you'll have She's to tell us when I'm gone. Blood of a war chief. In the beginning. Aloy, over here. Uh, excuse me? What are you doing here? Karst? What are you doing here? <clears throat> Careful. Pretend like we've never met. I wasn't supposed to trade with outcasts in the wilds, remember? How could I forget? And how generous of you to talk to me now. Don't be like that. You know I'll be rooting for you in the proving tomorrow. Can't wait to see the looks in some of these faces when you win. <laughs> and if you need any last minute supplies, uh, I'm your man. So, Mother's heart. I thought you preferred the wilds. Well, man can't drink alone all the time, can he? Truth is, I get lonely once in a while. There, I admitted it. Don't think less of me. I won't hold it against you, if you give me a discount. <laughs> you can't be. I'm joking, Karst. It's good to see you. <laughs> Don't go soft on me. <laughs> Always happy to take your shards. <laughs> Thanks. In a moment, we shall bless the proving. But first... 
We have guests to welcome. For two years, we have been at peace with Akarja. It is time to restore our bonds of trade with Meridian. These envoys come to us under a banner of peace. Mm. Peace. Peace. <clears throat> An annunciation of gratitude written Killers by the and slavers. Of yeah. Sun King yeah. of Ark. Killers and slavers! Hey, hey! Luminance of Hold your fruit, nor if, uh, nor if faithful. Hold your fruit. Now, I'm Azaram, not Karja. So I'll put it to you straight. The 13th Sun King was a murderous bung. Oh, he was. He was a tyrant and a monster. He raided my tribe for blood sacrifice, just like yours. My own sister was taken. I hated the Karja. But the 13th King is dead. Two years now. And who killed him? The 14th King. Yeah. Not because he, he lusted for power, but because someone had to put an end to his father's atrocities. Yeah! yeah. The message that this poor priest means to read is an apology straight from the lips of the 14th king so please can't you lend him your ears hey, thank you <coughs> an enunciation of gratitude written by the hand of sun king avad 14th luminance of the radiant line I won't let the target of faithless stop me from unknown to rest of people. What harm can they do now? No, the He's wearing a focus, just like mine. As the sun's light You're the only the other sun. person I've ever seen wearing a focus. Where did you get yours? Hmm. What? A Nora? Wearing one of these? That's impossible. Your tribe fears the old places. Forbids them. Who says I'm like other Nora? <laughs> well, yeah. I guess you're not. If you've gone delving in the ruins of the metal world. What's wrong? Apologies. Uh, a malfunction. Oh, Lynn? You making friends with locals, are we? <laughs> I'll... I'll come back. Wait. No. Uh, we'll talk later. Have to go. Whoa. Well, I guess he's more hungover than I thought. <laughs> hey. We got the same trinket that Olin has on his head. Since when did those become fashionable? His name is Olin? Who is he? And where did he get one of these? Ah, he's just a scrounger with friends in high places. Now he spends half his time digging for artifacts, the other half drinking or dicing. As for the trinket, well, I guess he dug it up somewhere. Just a weird old jewel he sticks on his face. I mean, no offense. It looks great on you. Hmm. Trying to flirt, are we? What else do you know about Olin? Is he really that interesting? I'm starting to get jealous. Well, he scours the wilds for ruins, digs up stuff, and sells it to nobles. When he's not scrounging, he's scouting. Exactly the skills you want the man guiding your expedition to have. I've known him for a few years. He's a loyal companion, cares for his family, holds his drink well enough. I like him, but besides that, not much to tell. I thought your friend was gonna go down in a hail of fruit, but you really calmed the crowd. Uh, thanks. I, I wasn't sure I could do it. The Nora is still pissed with the Karja about the Red Raids. And who can blame them? I wanted to ask you something else. Yeah, if you want. But I'll also be around after that blessing thing, if that'd be a better time to talk. No, we can talk now. If the Karja have such a cruel history, how did you end up serving them? The last king and his men were butchers. But the new king wants peace. There's nothing cruel about that. Besides, the Karja don't just fight, they build. Or take Meridian. Next to it, everything else is just a bunch of sticks and stones. Just how big is Meridian? What's it like? Where do I even start? My tribesmen are masters of the forge, the best tinkers in the world. But when it comes to building, the Karja have us beat. The 
The city soars over a canyon with more bridges than the Nora have roads and buildings tall as mountains. And across the valley stands the spire, like a blade thrust into the sky reflecting the sun. You really owe it yourself to see it. So consider that a challenge. Or an invitation. Okay. I never heard anything about red raids growing up. What were those? Your tribe was at war and you didn't even know? <laughs> were you kept hidden away? Did you have overprotective parents or something? I grew up as an outcast, shunned by the tribe. Oh, yeah, I've heard the Nora do that. That seems cruel, if you ask me. Mm. But even an outcast knows about the derangement of the machines, <clears throat> right? How they get deadlier every year? Well, the mad Sun King figured if he spilled enough blood to the Sun God, it would calm the machines. Didn't work. But for years, he raided the tribes and took captives for sacrifice. My sister among them. The Nora put up a good fight, but lives were lost. You said the machines have been getting more dangerous every year. Yeah, I don't have to tell you that, right? First I've heard of it. Oh. Well, sorry, I just assumed everyone knew. Well, the way I hear it, 15, 20 years ago, the machines weren't always pissed off like they are now. When a hunter came at them, they'd spook and run. So it was hard to take them down, but not dangerous, so long as you were smart enough to jump out of the way. But then the derangement starts up and everything changes. Now, when a hunter fires a shot, the machines snarl and charge right at him. A few more years pass, and they start attacking people on sight. Going anywhere becomes a major risk. If that wasn't bad enough, entirely new kinds of machines start showing up. Bigger, meaner, and heavily armed. Like the Sawtooth? Yeah, ten years ago, that one. But every couple of years or so, something worse comes along, <laughs> believe me. So what's making it happen? And no one knows. And the machines, well, they aren't telling. Interesting. Your sister was taken captive and sacrificed. That's terrible. <laughs> captive, yes. Sacrificed, no. It takes more than a few Karja to finish Ursa. She got away, and now she's my captain. Captain of the entire vanguard, favored by the Sun King himself. How did she survive? Well, that's a story, all right, but it takes a while to tell. Maybe another time over a drink or three? <laughs> or just come to Meridian and meet her yourself. I think you'd like each other. You're both rather, uh, direct. <laughs> Thanks. I want to ask you about something you said before. Ask away. I've never seen armor like yours before. You've never seen Vanguard steel? Well, let me introduce you. Ring locked, impact protected, sturdy enough to choke a sawtooth. It has to be. The Vanguard are the Sun King's best. Life takers and machine breakers to a one. It might even give a Nora war maid like you more trouble than she can handle. <laughs> With all that metal to slow you down? I doubt it. Mm. Yeah, hard to say. From where I'm standing, looks like a pretty even match. <laughs> All right. I should make my way to the blessing. Yeah. Look, maybe I shouldn't say this, but it's obvious that you don't belong in this backwater. I mean, you're smart. You're obviously capable. And, well, I mean, look at you. Uh, what are you talking about? You know what? All right, if you ever visit Meridian, look me up. I'll show you around, make introductions. It'd be a whole new life if you want it. Anyway, I have to go to that blessing thing too. So, uh, see you around, maybe. Hey, okay. Getting a little um, flirty there, Aaron. I don't know how I feel about that. I'm gonna make my way down to the blessing here. Then, after the blessing, we'll be able to talk to three people that way we can get some glorious glorious lore when all aspirants are in place eh. Aloy, 
take your place right there. The prayer lantern is yours. I made it for you. Thanks, Teresa. Or Tirsa. Blasphemy. Sisters. Oh, piss off, Lancer. Aspirants, before each of you sits a prayer lantern crafted by your mother. In her honor, light its flame. But Aloy has no mother, so I'll light it for Rost. In honor of Rost, and all he did to help me get here. Dad, sweet dad. Oh, mother, hear our prayer. What is the child but a mother's hope that takes flight? A glowing flame that climbs the air, set free to the wind, sailing the sky till it fades and falls. So, from one to another, passes the chain of love. Aw, that's sweet. This is actually really beautiful. I have some questions for him. Yeah, he's one of the people we can talk to. Other one is Tirsa, and we can also talk to the Sun Priest. Ah, God. People, get out of my way. Aloy, now that the blessing has been made, you and I finally have a moment to speak. I hope the ceremony wasn't too unpleasant for you, given your circumstances. I can't say it was comfortable, but I could see the beauty of the ritual, even so. It takes a generous heart, Aloy, to commend a ritual that venerates all that you were denied. All I'm saying is that it didn't bother me. I have bigger things to worry about than hearing the Nora mumble about their mothers. Hmm. I see. I imagine you must have questions for me then. It surprises me the tribe lets outcasts run in the proving. It's not like the Nora to be so hospitable. It has always been law that any child outcast has this right, as a means to rejoin the tribe. So far as I know, however, you are the first ever to exercise this right. I'm not surprised. I doubt many outcast children survive long enough in the wilds to come of age. I think, rather, it is because child outcasts are so rare. In all my years, I've only known of one other child who was cast out. A boy of 13, who killed his mother. But at the proving five years later, he did not appear. No. I'd be surprised if he survived very long on his own. But at least he had a chance. Other tribes would have simply executed him. It may be hard for you to accept, Aloy. But the practice of shunning is, relatively speaking, humane. Oh, is it? Try it out for 18 years, Tirsa, and then let me know what you think. Hmm. Yeah, I was gonna say, this is, uh, this is a bit humane, my ass. Ross told me that matriarchs don't just lead the tribe. What else do you do? We teach, offer counsel, give blessings. When necessary, we judge. Our only concern is the welfare of the tribe. Among our number this year, we count three high matriarchs and some 30 lesser matriarchs. What's the difference? Matriarchs are grandmothers with two generations of living progeny. But a high matriarch is a great-grandmother with three or more generations to her name. Mm. Thus do we speak for generations, lending our opinions weight. The high matriarchs most of all. So the more children you have, the more authority you get? I guess that's one way to decide who leads a tribe. Why would there be any other? It's not necessarily the more children you have, it's the more of your descendants and progeny that, you know, survive. Why does Lanzara hate me so much? She is a woman of extreme opinions. <laughs> more than that, I cannot say. It's not my fault that I was born, or that the matriarchs decided to cast me out. I side with you in this matter, but there are differences of opinion. And any vote of the High Matriarchs requires a majority. 
So, if it requires a majority, does that mean the other High Matriarch sided with Lanzra? Why was I made an outcast at birth, Tirsa? What crime could I have committed even before I was born? Aloy, this is not a question I can answer. Why not? It's simple enough. And what about my mother? Is she here tonight, watching me? Or is she dead? Is she here? Or nowhere? I am sure your mother is here with us, if only in spirit. <laughs> That's not really an answer, is it? Just so you know, Tirsa, the reason I'm here is to get answers. Real ones. And when I win the proving, I will demand them. I know, Aloy. I would expect nothing less. Ooh, Rost. What about Rost? Why was he made an outcast? So, he never told you? He said he swore an oath never to speak of it. Yes. As did I, and the other matriarchs. I'm sorry, Aloy. But Rost's past is another secret I must keep from you. What else is new? I have a theory about what happened to Rost and why he's an outcast. I'm, I'm fairly certain that... So, he gives you a necklace in the opening cutscene when you first play the game. Or first load up the game. He gives Aloy a necklace and he says it belongs to my daughter. But... If it belonged to his daughter, where is she? I My theory is that Rost, his daughter got abducted in the Red Raids, and he left the Sacred Lands to find her. And that's why he was cast out. I should be going. I'm sorry if I've been too harsh. It's just, I've wanted answers for so long. I know, child. You're not the only one who's waited years for this day. I will be praying for your success. Thanks. Okay. Talk to the priest. Your blessing was most illuminating. I've never seen its like. A rare gift, indeed. But you don't believe in all mother, do you? Usually the, the distance between our tribes shrouds Nora ways from Karja eyes. But here among you, I see a beauty that shines true. Perhaps Naman is right after all, that the sun's light brightens all lands and all peoples. Who's Naman? One of my brethren, who believes the sky is wide enough for the faiths of all tribes. Interesting. Who are you, Sun Priest? I am the Reverend Irid. The glory of the Karja is the sun's glory, reflected. We sun priests are but glimmers of its great light. You just said a lot, but you didn't tell me anything. <laughs> my apologies. My duty is to carry out the will of the sun by serving its emissary among us, the sun king. I comfort those who walk by the light of day, and I travel to those in far reaches whom the light barely touches, bearing warmth. Okay. So you live in Meridian? I do. Where better to mark the sun's divine passage than where the sandstone glows in the light of its passing? I was raised in the Mesa's great shade, its wild bird markets and metal cellars, spices and colored silks. Sounds impressive. Oh, you should behold it. And you can if you make the journey. At his luminance's order, we have flung its gates open to all. Any Nora who leaves the sacred land becomes an exile. But hey, who knows where I'll end up. Fair enough. Did you come all this way just to deliver your Sun King's speech? It is my duty, and also my honor, to carry the light of atonement to those we overshadowed and wronged. I swallowed my fear, but it reemerged. I am glad Erend Van Guardsman made this journey. He is my shield, a good man. Why were the Karja at war with the Nora? Under the 13th Sun King, the Karja had no peace with any tribe. His luminance has sent those days to dusk. We must renew the light that binds us, though few volunteered to come here. The Nora scare you. 
They're good at making people feel unwelcome. It's said one soldier died for every Nora taken alive. But <laughs> I see you can be as calm as you are fierce. <laughs> don't worry, I don't bite. Hard. <laughs> Who is the Sun King you speak for? His luminance Avad is the 14th king of the Radiant Line. His light envelops the sky and everything beneath it. He is the chosen of the sun. By his divine rule, we are given sight and purpose. You speak highly of him. Do you know him well? By his nature, he is unknowable and infallible. We are his instruments, not his companions. I have been in his presence, but we draw down our hoods so as not to behold his light directly. He's the sun, he has total power, and no friends. That couldn't go wrong. Hmm. Fun. If your sun kings are so infallible, how do you explain the crimes of the last king? Uh, well, the sun's glory is a great and brazen crown for a vessel as small as a man. If the vessel is flawed, Indeed, in the burial caves, one can see the skulls of the past kings are cracked, trialed, and fired in the sun's kiln. That can be too much for any man to bear, even a ruler of men. So the sun can make bad choices like anyone else? Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> All right. Has there ever been a sun queen? Uh, many wives and consorts, of course. Or, oh, you mean for the sun to choose a queen? <laughs> this has not happened. Hmm. Why not? The sun is masculine, of course, and, and so would choose its heirs thus. Um, it's a light in the sky. I've never seen anything dangling from it. I don't know if you've noticed, but women run things around here? Well, Avad took a woman as captain of his vanguard, the first to hold such an honor. You mean Aaron's sister, Ursa. From what he told me, she sounds formidable. Oh, formidable indeed. A woman and an outsider as well. She might make a fine sun queen, given a chance. A sun queen? <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No. All right. This has been illuminating, but I should get going. <gasps> you have already been blessed, but may the dawn find you, the day warm you, and the dusk have light to guide your path. Thanks. Of course Bast is going to win. Just the... Hello, Owen. You know my name. Ah, guess Aaron told you. Why did you act so strange when we spoke earlier? Must be this festival. I'm really not one for crowds. Maybe I should just turn in. Stop dodging my questions. All right, cool your fire. I got nothing to hide. Hmm. What are you doing here, Olin? Why come to Noraland? Eren needed a scout for his expedition, and a second for his drinking. That's all. Someone to stop the Sun Priest getting lost. When all this is over, I'm back to delving ruins, rummaging for scrap, scrounging up trinkets to sell. So you're an explorer? Just another Outlander, girl. A man's gotta make his shards. I just make mine in service to the King's court. That's all. Okay. I've never seen anyone else with a focus. Where exactly did you find it? In a ruin, north of the Claim. That's our name for the Asarum homeland. Up there, the metal seams run deep. Steel giants half buried in loose soil. Forgotten caves that the old ones bored into mountain rock. Your eyes just lit up. I found my focus in a cave just like you're describing. A ruin of the old ones. If you've delved yourself, you know as much as I do. Go to those places for answers. Not me. Why do you seem so grumpy? When we spoke earlier, you winced, then looked like you were in pain or frightened. Did your focus show you something? It didn't show me anything. I told you, it malfunctioned. Happens all the time. Uh, not to me. Mine's never malfunctioned. And I've had it since I was a child. So yours is in better shape then. I'm sure the land here is full of relics. Seeing how you Nora are too scared to delve the ruins. Because they think ruins are cursed. But I never said I think that. If the North acknowledges a curse, I'm inclined to agree. <laughs> okay. 
Well, you seem very grumpy. I don't understand. We have this device in common, but you can't wait to stop talking to me. <sighs> I already have all the friends I need, girl. I don't need to bother. I'm used to being shunned by the tribe. I thought you'd be different. It's nothing personal. It really isn't. You should... Try to enjoy yourself tonight. Big day tomorrow. Always best to make every day count. <sighs> Being very ominous, my guy. Very ominous. Looks like a strong pair right. for the proving this year. It's an old month. Go ahead and lay down another quick save. Start making our way to the proving. Excuse me. What did you say? Find your bed, outcast, and dream of winning the proving. That's the closest you're gonna get. Punch him. Punch him in his nose. Oh, this is the bed house? With you standing guard? I figured it was the latrine. You're, you're very <laughs> yes! That's my girl! <laughs> well, well. Look who's come in from the wild. The motherless outcast. And you are? I see you've still got a scar from where that rock I threw hit you. Now that's a cherished memory. You can be a real lard sometimes, boss. Cut it out. Okay. So that's a little bastard that threw a rock. I've ever tasted. Do you want me to throw another one? Or would you like... You talking with the outsiders. Couldn't convince them to take you either, huh? Oh, shut the fuck up. I'm gonna punch you. Aw, you even try to dress like a real Nora. Not that it fools anyone. So this is how it's gonna be with you, is it? This is how it's gonna be with everyone, outcast. You belong in the wilds, not Mother's heart. And you definitely don't belong in the Proving. Hmm. Ooh. Should I be aggressive? Ah, uh, I'll be intelligent. You can sense it. You already know you're gonna lose. <laughs> I've trained all my life for the Proving. I'm not afraid of you. I'm not afraid of anything. Hmm. Really? Confidence is quiet. You're not. You know... I often think of the day I gave you that scar. It's a cherished memory. And you're yeah. a creep. The look on your face when I knocked that stone out of your hand was pretty entertaining. <laughs> but I suppose you leave that part of the story out when you tell it, don't you? I branded you that day to mark your shame. All you did that day was make me stronger. Just wait. I'll show you tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, right. This is boring. Time for boss to get some sleep. Ah, uh, he's one. You'll be the one surprised tomorrow, outcast. Not me. Oh, are you gonna shut your mouth? Because that would be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot how. I forgot how sassy she is, and I fucking love it. Nice job handling Bost. That should keep him quiet till morning, anyway. <clears throat> I don't believe we've met. I'm Aloy. Oh, I know who you are. The competition. The others, they'll finish the proving. Most of them. But win it? That's down to Bost, you, or me. Vala. Nice to meet you, Vala. You're right. I am going to win tomorrow. Never celebrate a victory before it's earned, girl. My mother taught me that. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna get some sleep. I plan to be well rested when I run you into the ground tomorrow. <laughs> Your bunk's right there when you want it. Okay. Thanks. Well, she's a bit passive-aggressive, but I guess it works. Mine's the only one that's not a bunk bed. Nice. So? Your first day in Mother's Heart. What do you think? You've never slept in a Nora Lodge before. Not very private. Mm. Too soft. Comforts and distractions. That's what I think. Not all comforts are bad. Comforts are weakness. You sound just like my mother. 
You can always go back to living in the wilds if you have to. In the meantime, get some rest. Oh. Onwards to the proving. All right, this is where things get serious. Music. God, it's him again. Braves, ready yourselves. What will it take to get you out of here? All right, bitch. You want to play these games? Looks like a grazer. Cast. Looks like you'll need another. All right. You want to play these games, bitch? We'll play these fucking games. Hey. Yes, sir. Come on. All right. Let's go. I've got to catch up. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Moving, moving as fast as you will go. Slow and steady now. All you need is to finish. That makes all but one. Is the outcast coming? Yes. She was behind me. I'm right here, guys. Aloy, you need to climb faster, girl. Let's go. Dead last, girl. Might as well walk from here. Boss will win, Urbala. But you'll be made a brave so long as you finish. That's not good enough. Oh, now. That's an old trail. Two died on it last year. It's falling apart. Better dead last than dead altogether. Nope, not for Aloy. Whoa, 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 whoa. My old mother, are you crazy? You're going to kill yourself. Come on, Aloy. It doesn't get any easier. You're insane to go that way. That's it. No way but forward Just now. Stop right there. Just turn around. Nope. You don't want to I can't you see. Stop. Follow right Come on now. Faster. Stop dragging. Come on, girl. I gotta keep going. The outcast. On the old trail? Is she crazy? Good. Come on, come, come on, Aloy. The outcast is catching up. Hell yeah. How'd she get up there? None of your damn business. Made it. Come on now, hurry. Keep at it. Run faster. Oh, 
it's cold up here. Snow, it's got to be freezing your lungs, girl. Faster, faster, faster. Come on, you can make it. Can't let them beat me now. I got this. Kiss my ass, boss. Yes. She didn't win. The outcast cheated. An outcast win the proving? Never. For she is a brave now. Yeah. You did it. As are you all. So long as you put your trophy on the altar. But it is Aloy. Once outcast, and now brave, who is first among us. Ah! Oh shit, I forgot about this. Bitches. Ooh, hold on, let me fire. We can't win. I missed. Ah, he got me. Yikes, man. We can't hold them. Okay, motherfuckers. Really hiding, isn't he? Woo! That was a close one. I'm gonna just take that. I'm gonna heal. Kill them. Take that. And then there's Quick. just run for the slip wire. <laughs> and then you have that guy. Ah, cool. Even more. Kill them all. No witnesses. No survivors. Aloy. Don't give up. Spotted something. Oh no, there's more. They keep coming. How many are there? Not enough. <laughs> I hit him in the face. I'ma just. You're dead. Make a few more arrows. Coming. That is what they are going to do. I missed. Woo. Too many of them. Yep. I knew he was coming down here. Nope. Nope. We can't hold them. Oh, hi. Hey, there you are. Kill them. Working on it. Hey, I did it. All right, that guy's dealt with. Kill the invader. Thank you. Bala. Now, descend while we have a chance. Fuckers better go. Okay, so those two escape. Um, excuse the fuck out of me. Oh, they're dead. You wanna play these games, asshole? Woo, shit! Ouch! Oh, 
Oh, he's got a gun. I forgot about that. Even though I literally just saw him use it. Yikes, man. Yikes, man. Ooh, hello, you. Stop that. Stop it. I get the corpse. Ay, 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 man. There are too many of you fuckers. Ooh, hello. Get ready for that. I missed. I missed. I missed. Ooh, let me heal. Eek, man. How are you still alive? I gotta keep missing. Stop, drop, and roll. This is just like Doom. You gotta stay on the move so they can't pin you down. <laughs> All right, I did it. Oh, man. Me. Who do I? This guy. Got a focus too. <laughs> Hi there, big fella. Just one arm. Rust. Good hit. That's not very fun. Dad. Sorry. Still makes me cry. And fuck you guys. Like. The first time I saw that happen in this game, I literally stopped playing it for like a week. I said, no, fuck this shit. <laughs> you can't just. Face to the soldier. 
She's wearing the necklace. found me before I bled out. But why is no one here? Where am I? The womb of the mountain. Uh, nothing over here. Okay. My clothes. Good. But where's my focus? Oh, it's here. Okay. A am I inside the sacred mountain? But only matriarchs are allowed inside. Interesting. I, I don't see my bow here. Or the damaged focus that when I took off that... Bunker door. Some secure containment hatch. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm picking up some kind of signal. It must be the damaged focus. The one I took from that killer. It's close. Bunker door. Is looks like the ruins I fell into when I was young. When Laura didn't build this place, the old ones did. But why? Interesting. Well, what is this thing? It's a power cell. These power cells. Hey. But what do I do with it? I know what we do with it. of my things. Excavations and proceed at once to the mission point. Avoid all contact with Nora's savages, but if you are seen, kill every witness. Target imaging attached. Do not fail. Interesting. Target imaging. Who says I'm like other Nora? Um, but make it quick. I'm heading in. Hold for I did to scan. You need to stop listening to Ted and start listening to me. Where's this from? What? Ninety-nine point four seven.
Aloy, you are awake. You brought me here? Quickly, you must follow. To where? To the place where you were born. And thus the plot thickens like a fine soup. You say I was born here, inside the mountain. It is easier if I show you. Questions. Questions that need answers. Why did you bring me here? It seemed you were dying, and to die near one's mother is sacred. Lantra fought it, of course, but Jezza sided with me. Is my mother here? Am I going to meet her? It's complicated. Please, just follow me. Does my mother look like me, but with short hair? I don't see how that could be. You were not born of a woman, Aloy. The mountain is your mother. I'm... What? What are you talking about? Come. The Great Chamber, where all mother slew the Metal Devil and gave birth to you. Aloy, the Proving Massacre was just the first of many disasters. The war party we sent after the killers was ambushed and slaughtered. But what does that have to do with where I was born? My hope is... everything. This is where we found you. We heard your cries, came to look, and there you were. Just... just lying there? Yes. You mean I came from behind the door? Always, that is what I have believed. That you came from the womb of the mountain. A gift from all mother herself. But others... Like Lanzra, feared that a darker power put you here. Not a gift, but a curse. But this isn't a goddess. Aloy! It's a door. With people behind it. My mother? <gasps> oh. Hold for identiscan. The goddess speaks. Just like the woman I saw. Error. Alpha registry corrupted. Identity cannot be confirmed. Entry denied. No. No. Aloy, all mothers spoke to you, as if she knew you. Were you not listening? It didn't recognize me. Because of corruption, the goddess's own words. Surely, if you heal this corruption, she will see you clearly. And how would I do that? You said you've had visions. Of a woman with short hair. The killers came for me. Because I look like her. But their power is overwhelming. Is there no other trail to follow? Olu. He was one of the outsiders. 
the night before the proving. The killer saw me through his eyes. He lives in Meridian. So you will have to leave the sacred land. I've been an outcast all my life. Why not an exile too? Shh. There is another way. Come, and we will make it so. Interesting. You said the tribe is on the brink of extinction. What happened? After the massacre at the Proving, a great war party was sent after the killers. Less than half survived. Ooh, those are not good odds. H how was the war party defeated? The killers do not fight alone. Somehow they have a power over the machines, corrupting them, driving them mad. So the killers got away? Yes. And now the only plan my sister matriarchs can agree to is to sing the hymn of atonement and beg for all mother's mercy, as though she would not want us to help ourselves. Then what's your plan? This. This was my plan. To show you where you were born and loose you to follow the destiny all mother intended for you. Okay. I can kind of follow the logic here. The other high matriarchs are waiting for us. Let me do the talking. Okay. It is done? Yes. I showed her. Sisters, the goddess spoke to Aloy. Told her to heal the corruption. Ha! But how is she to do that? She will have to journey beyond our sacred land. A seeker? If the goddess spoke, it must be so. You would name this thing a seeker? Sister! For once, Lanzra, join with us. This will be your sin, not mine. Send her seeking, and may she never be seen again. All right, you crusty old bag. Aloy, by the holy grace of the one goddess, we hereby anoint you a seeker of the Nora tribe. No barrier can now stay you from your sacred task. May all mother protect you and sustain you. Stay true. I will make ready for the hymn. Lying with you. Oh, good. No pressure. That that's fine. Tirsa, what's a seeker? You are. And here is your mark. In times of great need, the high matriarchs may anoint a seeker. A worthy brave sent forth to accomplish a great purpose. No matter where that purpose might take her. Even beyond the borders of the sacred land? Yes. And with the right to return when you are done, or as the need arises. Interesting. So I can go anywhere at all? No restrictions? Even to forbidden places, like the tainted lands beyond all mother's sight, or the ruins of the metal world. I see. Tainted lands. Why are the lands beyond Nora territory called tainted? Is it not obvious? Our land is sacred. We live in sight of the one goddess, all mother, source of all that lives. Beyond her sight lies a vast fallen land, spiritually tainted. That is why it is against tribal law to leave. But the seeker blessing will protect you. Okay. Why are the ruins of the metal world forbidden? They are blighted places, Aloy. Dark and wicked. Like the children of metal who built them. When they rebelled and tried to murder all mother, her wrath leveled their cities, but could not cleanse their sin. Their ancient spite haunts those ruins, ready to ensnare anyone foolish enough to enter them. But I've been in a ruin. It looked a lot like the inside of all mother. That cannot be so. It is. Then, this is something beyond my understanding. 
I will trust you to reveal the truth. Hmm. Have there been other Seekers? There have, but they are rare, and most who set out are never heard from again. Was Frost a Seeker? No, not a Seeker. What are you not telling me? This is not the time, Aloy. Perhaps another day. What was done with Rost's body? I'm afraid there was very little left to recover. But what there was, we buried at the place where he raised you. With flowers on the grave. Thank you. So many have suffered. Is there anything I can do to help? What is most important is for you to fulfill the purpose all mother has intended for you. I don't know what that means any more than you do. Then you must find out. If, however, you sense that part of your purpose is to help the tribe, by all means do so. I have no doubt you will find people in need throughout the embrace. You said the Nora sent a war party after the killers. Yes. But it was ambushed and overrun. Very few escaped alive. And most that did were wounded. Do you know where the killers went? No. But you could ask Varl, one of the braves guarding the gates of the Embrace. He survived the ambush. He would know more. Okay. I should be on my way. From here, you must go to the gates of the Embrace. Speak to Varl, and he will point the way to Meridian. If any Nora tries to stand in your way, Aloy, make sure they know you are a seeker. Oh, I will. Thank you, Tirsa, for all you've done. May all mother bless you and watch over you. Okay then. Nora Faithful. We will soon begin. Talk to Resh, the Purify new war chief. Okay. Yeah, we just turn your face from us. So she survived to guide the Nora as you once did. Thank you very kindly. She saved many lives. The tribe is lucky to have her. Thanks. Glad to feel appreciated for once. Keep that for later. Just grab everything I can. It's important to have materials. And healing herbs. Those are always nice. You don't mind if I just, like, steal all your stuff, do you? I am a seeker and I need these supplies. That's... I can't hold any more. <laughs> Rain's not so bad. Nah, not at all. It's good, it's healthy for everybody. God, God, I'm getting stuck on everything. Okay. If only the God, the outcast I approach was lost. Aloy! Ignore her. Aloy! Ted? There are rumors of a all mother be praised. You're a lot. I heard the rumors, but I didn't know for sure until I saw you just now. I'm glad to see you're okay. And you're even wearing the tunic I stitched for you. I'm honored. What are you doing here with a bow and spear, Teb? You're a stitcher, not a brave. Most of our braves are dead or wounded, Aloy. Someone has to defend Mother's Watch, so I thought I'd help out. I should be okay. Just as long as I don't try to run any brave trails, right? <laughs> what sort of rumors did you hear? That you were wounded. Expected to die. And then, High Matriarch Tirsa insisted that you be allowed to heal inside All Mother. Huh. That caused a stir. Only matriarchs are allowed to enter the mountain. You deserve the honor. The survivors had told everyone how you fought to save them. I 
wasn't the only one to fight. No. They spoke of Bast and Vala, too. And Rost, the man who raised me. He... He fought to save me, and... He died for it. The survivors didn't speak of him. But I remember him. He was there that day when you saved me. I remember he stepped in front of you when my father started yelling. If by dying he saved your life, Aloy, I don't think he regretted it. I need the gate opened. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is out there? I need to pass through. You'll have to talk to Resh then, up on the wall. He's the new war chief. I'm not sure he'll help you. Why wouldn't Resh help me? Well, he says mean things about you. That I'm a motherless curse, an outcast, that sort of thing? Yeah. I wish he hadn't been made war chief, but Sona disappeared after the ambush. They say she went after the killers all by herself. <laughs> that sounds mighty brave and dangerous. Who is Sona? Sona was the tribe's war chief, but she went missing after the war party was ambushed. You probably saw her at Mother's Heart. A tall, lean woman with dark skin and long white hair. Her daughter ran in the proving, but she died. Was Vala her daughter? Yes, she was. I liked her. So did I. No. What's the danger in the embrace? Are the killers still there? No. They're long gone. The war party went after them. But the killers slaughtered them. They have some evil power over the machines. They corrupt them, make them fight at their side. And these corrupted machines, they're loose in the embrace? Some have broken through. And from what I hear, it's even worse outside the embrace. Believe me, this is no time to go traveling. I should be on my way, Teb. May all mother go with you. Yeah. Okay. Well then, let's just grab some supplies before we head out into the embrace. Let's snatch up some goods. Ah, God, I'm getting stuck again. Here we go. It's the last supply cache. All right. One of the lucky ones. Until my luck runs out anyway. Excuse me, War Chief. I need the gate opened. Ah. <laughs> Since when has any outcast's need been my concern? Since I'm about to punch you in your fucking nose. Since I was anointed a seeker. Now open the gate. You? A seeker? Have Tissa and Jezza gone insane? Bad enough that they let you run in the proving. But to nurse you back to health inside the sacred mountain? No wonder a curse is upon us and children lie dead under cairns of stone. How can you be so heartless? I fought beside those children, shoulder to shoulder and back to back. I saw them fall. If even one of them had been true, Nora, they would have put an arrow in your back. Resh, come on. Silence! I am your war chief. And I am a seeker anointed by the High Matriarchs. So open the gate, and I will be on my way. <sighs> the sooner you're gone from here, the better. Punch him. Right in that big, ugly nose of his. What was that? <laughs> oh, fun. Something big is coming. The demon. The demon. Sound the alarm. By the goddess, what you doing to them? Oh, fun. Here they come. Brace yourself! What have you brought out of this curse? 
Kill them, Braves! Kill them all! This guy's still a fucking asshole. Kicked right in the face. Ooh, I am hurting and I am hurting bad. Ooh, oh, oh, it hurts. Oh, is he targeting me? Oh, shit. Okay. Hey, um. How doodly doodly. Oh, oh. Yikes, man. Ah, that hurt. That hurt a lot. Out of fire arrows, how about that? Ooh. Oh, sweet stuff. Just gonna loot the corpses here. Don't mind me. A machine like that take control of all those striders. Well, I'll have to search it here in a second to figure that out. All right. I need to know how that machine took possession of the- How'd you do it? Show me. <laughs> you made them obey you. But how? This. You did it with this. It's connecting to my focus. <laughs> then I could use this. It's worth a shot. A couple loops of wire. Looks like it'll hold. For now. I just need to test it. Aloy, how did you do that? I killed that demon. Pulled its guts from the carcass. The way it controls other machines. I think I figured it out. But I need to test it on a machine. Uh, plenty of striders along the path to the gates of the Embrace, I guess. Exactly. And the gates are where I'll be headed anyway. I need to speak to Varl. I always knew you were different, Aloy, but... But... What? I think you're a blessing from all mother. No matter what Resh says. <sighs> Thank you, Tub. But I have to go now. I know you do. And my thoughts go with you. Oh, that's sweet. All right. Braves, eh. I want that gate repaired immediately. I need to find a machine. Test this override device. Cool. We are going to have to do that, however, in the very next episode. So, I hope everybody has enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I will see you all in the next video, alright? Stay awesome.